Welcome to Native Engineering. Today we are doing the second part of hydraulics, engineering science and form, which is your hydraulic pump. The structure that you see on the board, it's the basic illustration of what we are using a hydraulic pump for. We have a river and we want to transmit the water from this river to this destination. We have a main line, which is where the water will be traveling. To make sure that this water travels in one direction, it can either be horizontal, vertical, or against pressure. We are going to introduce a hydraulic, a hydraulic pump and these two valves. The pump consists of a cylinder and a piston which is driven by a motor. Now as the piston moves up, vacuum will be created in the system forcing this valve to open and this valve to remain closed. The vacuum because of the vacuum, water will be sucked into the system from the river and it will occupy this space. As the piston is moving down, the pressure of the water will force this valve to close and this valve will be open and the water will escape in that direction. So the direction of the water will be from the river to the destination where we want to deliver the water to. And since we said the piston is powered by a motor, we will be required to calculate its power which we know it equals to work done divided by time in seconds. And these are some of the formulas that we are going to use. We have work done, which is equals to force times divide the, uh, yeah, force times distance. <laughs> and we are having another formula for work done which is pressure times volume. The formula for density, it's mass divided by volume. And then we have the formula for pressure, which is force divided by area. And we have these two scales that says 1,000 liters is equal to one cubic meters. This means that in a one cubic meter container, this is volume, you can put 1000 liters. And then we have another one that says one liters, one liter, it's equals to one kg. We will be using these scales a lot in this section. And those are, um, that is basically what we are going to need in this section. So we will do an example from my test book just to see how do we go about solving question, uh, questions involving hydraulic pump. The question that we are going to do reads as follows. The work done during the working stroke of a cylinder pump is 4.2 kilojoules. The effective force on the piston is 20 kN and the piston diameter is 245 mm. Calculate, those are the questions. Question number A, the water pressure during the working stroke. Question number B, they say the stroke length of the pump. Question number C, they say the volume of water delivered per working stroke. And question number D, they say the mass of the water delivered per
per working stock. And this is the information that we are given. Now, they said we must calculate the pressure. Pressure, it's the pressure of the water as this piston is moving down. And then the number two, they said we must calculate for the stroke length. The stroke length is the stroke length of, is the length moved by the piston as it is going up and down. And then the volume, the volume of the water that is delivered is the water delivered by this pump when this valve open. And then the mass, it's mass of the water. So we will start. First question, the pressure during the working stroke. Number A, the formula for pressure, this is the formula for pressure. Pressure is equal to force divided by area, which will be 20 newtons divided by pi divided by 4 times 0 0.245 squared. We know this. Uh, this is the formula for area. Area is equal to pi divided by 4 times d squared. This is what I've used here. And then our answer will be 424.236 kilopascal. And then we go to question number B. Number B, they say calculate the stroke length. We know that stroke length we can find in the formula for volume. Volume is equals to the area times the stroke length. But we do not have the volume. Therefore, we cannot use this formula. We also have another formula, which, we, which can be of help now, which says work done is equals to pressure times volume. Do we have the pressure? Yes, we do have the pressure. Do we have the work done? Yes, we do have the work done we are given. And then, what about the volume? The volume we do not have, but we can substitute the volume by this area times the stroke length, of which the stroke length is what we are looking for. The area we do have, since we have the diameter, then, yes, the diameter of the, of the piston. And then, from this, we'll say, work done, it's equal to the pressure times area times stroke length. We substitute this by this. We have this, we have this, we have this. We make this the subject of the formula, the stroke length the subject of the formula, which will give us a formula that says work done divided by the pressure times area, which will be what's our work done? 4.2. Our pressure we just calculated. It's 4, 2, eh. 4.236 times what's the area our area will be pi divided by 4 times 0 0.245 245 squared and then our answer here will be 0 0.21 meters this is the stroke length. And then we go to question number C. They say calculate the volume of water delivered per working stroke. Volume is equal to area times stroke length. We also have another formula where we can get our, our, our volume, which says work done is equal to the pressure times the volume now i'm not going to use this formula but i'm going to use this formula why because in this formula we have the stroke length the stroke length which we just calculated and calculating the stroke length we used pressure which we also calculated we were not originally given now this formula is not wrong I'm not I'm choosing not to use this formula because we have a value which we used which we calculated using another value 
which we calculated. So we rounded off in this when we are calculating the pressure and we also rounded off when we are calculating the stroke length. My value, uh, it is going to be correct, but I am not going to use this formula. I am going to use this formula because it only has pressure. Pressure is the only, it's the only value which was not originally given in our data. And we calculated pressure and we rounded off only in one stage. Therefore, what I'm saying is stick to given information for as long as you can. I am going to use this and I'm making V the subject of the formula which will give us work done divided by pressure. Work done as 4.2 divided by pressure. Pressure is 4, 4.2436 and our volume is 9.9 times 10 to the power negative 3 cubic meters and we have the last question which is question number D. It says the mass of water delivered per working stroke. This is the formula that we are going to use. Rho is equals to mass divided by volume. We know that the density of water is equals to 1000 uh, kg per cubic meters. We make mass the subject of the formula, which will give us a formula that says Rho times V. And our raw is 1,000 times our volume, we just calculated. It's 9.9 .9 times 10 to the power negative 3, which will give us an answer. <laughs> that is 9.9 kg. Yeah, it's mass kg. We can also calculate for the mass by using these two scales we said 1000 liters it's equals to 1 cubic meters we have the ma the, the the volume which is 9.9 .9 times 10 to the power negative 3 and we also oh we are looking for the mass we will say it's x. We cross multiply. This will give us our x as 9.9 .9 liters. But we were asked to calculate for the mass, obviously, in kgs. We come to this second uh, formula. Which says 1 liter is equals to 1 kg. Therefore, we will say that uh, our mass is equals to 9.9 .9 kg, which is the same as this. And that is basically the end of our lesson today. See you on the next lesson.